Hey you guys, long time no see. I wanted to come in here really quickly just to give you guys an update because I know a few of you um, have actually emailed me. Some of you um, follow this page because you've seen my wig reviews, you've seen my It Works um, reviews, or you've seen me mention PCOS, whether it has to do with It Works in losing weight or just in general. So let me give you an update on my progress first of all. So when I first came back on here, it's like 2014, and I'm still doing great as far as maintaining weight. Now, um, back in October of last year, um, I went to get my insulin, uh, I mean my A1C levels checked, and it was high. You know, with PCOS, most of the time, um, you end up getting what's called insulin resistance. Well, so I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, and I was put on regular metformin. 500 milligrams three times a day. So let me go ahead and keep it real with you. I quit. Very irresponsible, but it is what it is. This is real. I'm going to keep it all the way real and funky with you. I quit because number one, I was irresponsible. Number two, my reason or what I felt was a good enough reason to quit was it messed my stomach up. Now, anyone that has tried metformin who has PCOS or you just have diabetes, whatever the case is, you probably experience the stomach issues that uh, metformin gives you. So I couldn't, I just, I probably could have done it, but I just, mm -mm. stomach was tore up in knots and I was just so tired. I was sluggish and just feeling yucky and depressed and everything. Well, anyway, so this past Friday, um, I ended up going to the hospital because I had probably one of the worst ruptured cysts I've ever had. And I've been dealing with this since ninth grade and I'm 30 now. So um, I'm pretty used to the pain. Um, I don't want to say used to it because how do you get used to a pain? But I, I'm pretty good at coping um, with it. I don't normally go to get pain medicine. I just take ibuprofen and Tylenol and alternate those. But this time it was like, baby, something is wrong. When can y'all fill me in? And literally when I got off the phone, my uh, cyst started rupturing. And when I got there, that was my first time actually seeing it on an ultrasound. It was crazy. But anyway, so I told my um, doctor that um, I couldn't do that metformin, honey. We need to try some extended release. So that's what I have here. Um, I don't want to show my address, but if you can see metformin. ER. So I've been on that since Friday. Now, usually when you start metformin, you know immediately what it's going to do with that stomach. So um, it's been good. Like, I don't feel, you know, too bad. I did feel a little sluggish, but um, nothing like the regular metformin. Now, he informed me that he thought the regular metformin works better, but it can't work at all if you don't take it. So he agreed to try me on the metformin ER, and I pretty much got in trouble. He was like, you need to take this, or are you going to catch these hands? No, he didn't say that, but he did tell me I needed to take it, um, and I needed to be serious, and that's what I'm going to do. I do a lot of things to make sure that I don't spike my blood sugar, um, natural things. So I kind of use that as an excuse, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's try it, follow the recommendations, and then go from there. So that's where I'm at, and I hope to share my journey with you guys um, and kind of let you know how I'm doing with this. But I will check back in um, probably on Friday because that'll be a week that I've been on this faithfully. And I'll take it twice a day, once in the morning, once before I go to bed. Um, and it's been going good. But I hope to see you guys soon. So, yes, I'm still doing good. My weight's still doing good and all of that. Um, but with PCOS... Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of people say, just lose weight. You'll be fine. Losing weight helps, but I'm going to tell you, I am a living, walking, breathing testimony that there are many factors that play into PCOS and the symptoms and all of this stuff. And I've lost a bunch of weight and I still ended up getting diabetes. And I know it's not because of my diet, because everyone in the house picks on me because of the things I eat. So but I hope to share my journey and get some more tips from you guys. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.